Yo, what's up everyone? How y'all doing? It's your boy Zomet back with another guide. Uh, today is gonna be the highly anticipated video that y'all have been asking me for probably ever since I made the first one. <laughs> um, this is gonna be an updated Johnny Cage guide. I guess Johnny Cage guide part 2. Um, the last one I uploaded, or the first one I uploaded was right when the game came out, so about two months ago now. Which is a pretty crazy thing about the game has already been two months in the uh, cycle. And since I am talking here real quick, I do want to say thank you to everyone for reaching 10k subs. I know I made a uh, post, but once again, I do appreciate it so much. Y'all have been supporting the channel like crazy. So thank you to everyone who's been, um, you know, liking, commenting, subbing in general. So I appreciate y'all. Um, but yeah, today we're going to be able going over Johnny Cage again. We're going to be covering a lot of the things we covered in the first guide. Obviously with updated... Um, you know, cameos, combos, and, you know, just an overall guide on how to approach the character. Uh, this character is a rushdown character. His main game plan is literally just to get in your face here and oppress you. He's, like, the most oppressive character in the game, by far, because his frame data is amazing. Um, and he's, unlike his MK11 counterpart, if you guys remember, MK11 counterpart, he was more of a play around this range, space control with punish character. In this game, he's, you know, he wants to be in your face, and the reason because of that is... His buttons are on the stubbier side, so like forward one, forward three, uh, even back three. These buttons are really good, but they don't have the farthest range. Um, but the reason for that is because he's meant to be played right here, um, because this frame that is amazing. But um, yeah, so let's just get into him. Uh, as always, we start with the buttons. So the main buttons that I'm going to highlight are you got stand one, you got forward one. Um, let's do it like this: stand one, stand two. You got forward one you got um <clears throat> you got back three four three and yeah that's it for now um so stand one stand two your typical uh jabs staggers they are both plus on four on block which <laughs> is very strong and johnny is the only character in this game with a nine frame mid which uh it's four or three which means I do this or this, it's plus four on block, and I do a nine frame mid, you only have five frames suppressed, right? They can armor, of course, but in terms of like doing down one or anything, they have to block if they don't armor. Um, so these are plus four plus four staggers, and anytime someone mashes, I just do four or three to jail them, right? And the reason that's so good is because since they're respecting my four or three, you do stand one or stand two, and you grab them. Or you just, you know, you just keep staggering. You take up free space. Um, Forward one is probably his most uh, broken button, I'd say. It's plus three on block, <laughs> um, and it's the main advancing button. Uh, it, it leads to his mid launcher, which is four two four. This string, which I'll cover in the string section. Um, but this string is plus three. Same mind game applies. You do forward one to four three, six frame gap. Nobody could poke that, except for Johnny. His down one, which I probably should have highlighted. His down one is six frames. <laughs> uh, he's the only character with a six frame. So he's the only character with a 9 frame mid, and only character with a 6 frame down one. Um, so his down one is 6 frames, which means he can poke anything that's 6 frames and above. Uh, you know, space. Uh, so most characters cannot poke this. It's a 6 frame gap, but Johnny can, right? Um, so Johnny Mirror, as you can tell, has a lot of mashing. <laughs> um, okay, and back 3. Back 3 kind of does exactly what I said in the first guide. It is your main anti bond for like when you space out... Um, when you space opponents out, so if I see him jump from here, you back there like that. And it's also your main whiff punish tool. Johnny has great bonds, but his whiff punish, you know, his bonds don't go the farthest. You're trying to whiff punish with forward three or forward one, this is a high, right? It's not the easiest, so back three is actually your best whiff punish button. So if you see someone whiffing, like Raiden, if I'm walking back, I just do back three in reaction. This is a 10 frame mid, so... It's kind of like your 4 3, except with way more range, right? So, if you see them whiffing, do that and you get a full combo. So, back 3 is a great tool for anti iron from a range, and it's also your best whip punisher. Uh, 4 3, like we covered, 9 frame mid. This is crucial to opening up people who are mashing. And just, it's a 9 frame mid, so you can't duck a west it, and you could check, and it's just a great bond. Johnny's bonds are amazing. They don't go the farthest, so that's why he's meant to play. You play it around here. Um. But his frame that is amazing. Um, yeah, those are me buns. You could there's stand four is also good. This bun right here, it's a uh, plus five on block. That's a high, but what uh, at least for this string, it's plus fifteen on block. But this string has such a big gap, you can actually just stand one as Raiden. But the mix up is if I 
think you're gonna stand one. You know, my second hit, I'll just do this. Uh, plus five into four, three, right? Four frames again. Um, but then you know that that this is I have to use this in the corner mainly because they can backdash after this. Um, but they can't backdash in the corner. So, yeah, hey, those are your main one. Stand one, stand two, forward one, back three is your main whiff punish two slash. Uh, space out anti. I say space out because it's a great anti, but sometimes jumping will stuff it. His good. He has really good anti. Stand one is a great anti. People will jump at you. Um. Actually, has one of the best stand ones in the game, to be honest, when it comes to anti. And his down two is really good, too. So, his anti is really good. Um, 4 3, probably the best close range win in the game. And yeah, his buttons are just overall very, very good. Uh, and now, let's get to his uh, strings. Alright, well, we're back with the strings. So, I'm going to highlight four strings at a time, because there are actually a lot of strings I want to talk about. Um, and they all cater to different. Know, different needs in them uh, when you're playing against characters so the main strings we're going to highlight first is uh one one which you guys probably know this is probably the main string um forward one two forward one two three and forward one two four um and then we'll actually no we'll do two one separately so um these strings are very good because they are all his kind of his pressure uh tools and they're also all his main combo starters in a way so one one Right off the bat, this string is plus three on block. So, this complement is stand one because if they're looking for this, and one for it, right? So, <laughs> this already complements each other. One one is, you you probably have seen this string a lot, it's plus three on block. And because Johnny has a nine for mid, you can't mash. You, can, you just cannot mash on it. Now, some characters can, however, backdash. So, with Raiden, if I uh, do one one four three to jail Raiden, right? He's actually one of the one of the uh, one of the few characters. I don't know if it's a few, but some characters can't do it. He's a, he actually can back that just or not. Yeah, there you go. So if you crouch block it, you can back this. Right. So that's already a mind game that um, some characters have, some characters don't. And but just remember, it's a great plus three string. Jails in your four three. But you can every time there's a gap, so there's a gap here, they can armor, right? So one one already a great string. Um forgot on highlight when you do that. <laughs> uh one one or your main uh plus three string leads to your nine for your mid, so one of your main pressure tools already. Um now forward one, like I said, great bond, great stagger, one of your probably your main bond to advance. And the reason it's so good is because it leads to forward one two, which is a great stagger, minus four. But what it leads to is forward one two three, which means if you see them get, if you see them block, right, hit confirming. If you see them block, you do the full string. You're minus four on block. If you see it hit, however, you just commit to the four part and you have a mirror launcher. But the reason this is so good is because coupled with his movement, Johnny's movement, by the way, is wave dash, probably the best in the game. Um, if I can do it right now, I'm kind of rusty. <laughs> but you kind of mix the movement with his forward one. So, like, see how fast he is? Like, you're, if you're walking back for one second, you're like, bam. So, if you if uh, you see them block forward one, two, and you just go into three part, completely safe, no gap. And then if you see them get hit, you just go into four part. So, this, the reason this string is so good and his bun, this bun is plus three on block. It's your main advancing high. And it leads to a safe string on block. It leads to your meters launcher. So, this string and this this bond and this string are already amazing and then one one that is like your you know your pressure that's why you can do like if they're respecting this right and you can do eh, 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 and then you know you get like you can just loop plus frames of johnny uh, like i said anytime somebody can poke and they can armor but the threat is block right or this um so yeah these are already uh like Three of the main strings. I'm not gonna say forward one two. Forward one two is really good, but most of the time you do want to do this just to reset neutral. You know, like you give yourself spaced out here, so it's a advantage uh, position for like both of you really. Um, yeah, those strings out the way. Now we're gonna go over two one two one two two one four. I will just go over the total two one string. So like I said, stand two is plus four on block. The reason t uh, this string is so good. Because two one is minus one on block. Minus one staggers are amazing, and you're like, well, you could just react to that. But the thing is, he has this, which is a full combo starter. So if I see you get hit, 
Little comma starter. I'm um, block it safe. You can actually armor this last hit, but then I could just do like, you know, stagger. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you could do two one four four, which is minus six on block gap in the last hit, but then you get the two one two, which is a launcher. Now this last hit is unblockable. It's not completely safe. So if somebody makes a read, they can unblock and punish. But it's kind of a risk on their part because if you just stagger two one, they have to commit to the all block, right? So. 2-1, and then they up block. I just, um, so if I'm raiding, and I record 2-1, grab, I up, block, I up block here. I just got grabbed for 19%, almost 20, right? So, already the mind game, they can up block this, but most people don't do it because the mind game is incredibly in Johnny's favor. So, 2-1, uh, Gray Stagger, 2-1-2, two, two, Meteor's Launcher. And the reason this is also so really good if they're not all blocking, because if they do get hit or shimmied, you get a full combo off 2-1-2. Two, two. So, already it's a great... And that's your main uh, Whiff Punish tool, by the way. So, that's your main Whiff Punish tool. I meant, uh, that's your main Punish tool, right? So, if Johnny, if Raiden does this and I block it, dash up 2-1-2. Two, two. That's your main Punish tool. And, like I said, 2-1-4. Keep yourself completely safe. So this string is just also one of his main strings. Um, I saw and the last string, yeah, probably yeah, the last string I go over is four three two four three two one and four three four. Uh, four three is a nine frame mid, and the reason is so good. Other than it being a nine frame mid, it's a minus five stagger, which means if you do this and somebody reacts late, you can actually do like a back dash my game and then punish them for poking, right? And then that mind game also goes to 4 3 2. This is minus 4 on block. So, same concept applies. So if I'm reading and then Johnny does. Eh, and I react late, right? Or like. Oh, wait. Raiden's poke goes pretty far. Uh, <laughs> but, like, if I do this and then stagger, right? Oh my god, damn. Raiden's poke goes map for. Yeah, so you see the example. Raiden's poke goes map for. But that's kind of example. This is a great stagger game. When you mix this in with cameos, which we're gonna go over, I guess we have Lao Hai right now. If you mix in with his, his mid with this, you just have a plus two <laughs> block sequence off a of nine for mid. So already, that's ridiculous. And then he has four three four. This is kind of a gimmick. Nobody should really get hit by this, but sometimes if people are under pressure or they're kind of twitching on block, they might get hit by this. So some sometimes I'll throw it out. And it's also your meterless. Uh, actually, it's really good on hit. It's your meterless combo starter. So. If Johnny doesn't have bar to spend this, or he doesn't have loud cameo to extend, or you know your cameo to, can get you uh, grant you combos, then you can do four three four because this leads to his mirrorless launcher, and you get a full combo off that too, right? So, um, yeah, basically all these strings, like I said, these all the good thing about his strings is all the strings are off his main buttons. One one amazing string. You can also this is one of your main like hits. You hit confirm this in the rising star, or you hit confirm this in the Lao. Or you know whatever cameo, so that's already one of your main uh, combo starters. Two one two means launcher. Two one four safe, and you can also hit confirm this. And then of course uh, forward one two four, and then your mid string, which is great. You can safe on block, and you can hit confirm it. So all his strings and buttons are tie in really well to each other, and they're kind of that's what I mean. His buttons and his frame that is amazing. And I think the reason I do like how they did it in this game is because, like I said, his range isn't the best. He doesn't have the best range. Like, his farthest button is this. And if somebody blocks this, it's actually minus 13 on block. Um, but his frame data when you get up close is very, very good. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I say Johnny is uh, literally an up close character. Like, he wants to be in your face and just pressure you. Pressure you. But keep in mind, Johnny is a strike throw character, which means the only way he really opens people up is. Either catching them mashing, catching them whiffing, or grabbing. He doesn't have 50-50s. He has this overhead, but it's not the fastest. Um, so yeah, he doesn't have 50-50s. Mostly he's trying to open you up with, you know, strike or throw. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it for his buns and strings. Now, I'm going to cover the cameos for Johnny Cage. Alright, y'all. Here we are with the cameo section and discussion of the video. Um... In my first Johnny guide, which was you know right around the game uh, when it released, I did say Kano is uh, his best cameo because it was at the time, and then Cyrax obviously became his best cameo. Cyrax now isn't really that good with Johnny because uh, Johnny used Cyrax for block pressure mainly, 
and Cyrax, you can only rep it once now, so Cyrax isn't really that good for Johnny, and just like my last video, uh, I uploaded a video a few weeks ago, I said uh, it was the best cameos for Johnny Cage, I mentioned Lao and Cyrax being the best cameos, but um, yeah, it still holds true, Kung Lao is still the best cameo for Johnny, because it lets him uh, use low high and pressure, which gives you plus two block strings, um, it lets him control neutral easily, because you can put Lao hat down, do shadow kick, you know, get in for free, it gives Johnny a projectile as well, also gives Johnny harder blockables, um, so yeah, Lao really just compliments him very well, he also gets a lot of combo routes with uh, Lao cameo. Other two cameos that are really good with him right now are Striker and Sonya, um, Striker you're able to use the grenades to make shadow kick safe, and kind of, kind of just play like undeterred, you can kind of do what you want when you have Striker grenades. Um, and you also get hype routes with Striker, and you also get 50-50s off of his mid. And Sonya is another good cameo that people have been using. Um, especially like Ninja, he sh you guys saw that combo route. Uh, you get mirrorless combo routes with Sonya. Your forward grab turns into a 14% grab. And whenever you pop hype with this character, you're able to do 60%, 65 So she's she basically gives Johnny like a, a X factor, right? You hit them, and then you're taking a lot of damage. And in addition to all that, she has like a projectile that also helps Johnny neutral. It's not as good as Lao Hat, but it is a decent projectile. Um, yeah, those are the main cameos in order. I'd say it's Lao, uh, Striker, um, Sonya. Kano's still very good. I still use Kano in some matchups because he really helps with neutral control, especially with the ball and the knife. And you can still use hype combos with uh, Kano. And honorable mention, I'd say Goro and Jax. Um, but yeah, definitely in order. I'd say it's Kung Lao, Striker. Sonya, Kano, and then, you know, from now on. And that's why I like, it gives ca uh, characters creativity, of course. Right, those are the main cameos. Now, let's get to everyone's favorite part of these guides, uh, the combos. Hey everyone, I want to add this little short section in uh, the video and talk about the hype meter. Um, Johnny's hype meter is very essential to his toolkit. It is kind of what you want to go for. Um, whenever you're able to and there's a lot of different ways to build up hype so um, basically every single one of Johnny's special moves allows you to build hype and just hitting people with special moves will also build a, build a little bit of hype like shadow kick or nut punch uh, even rising star will build up some hype right um, and there's a lot of moves so first he has his nut punch taunt which is builds up like pretty much half your hype bar and it also is a great projectile uh, counter as well so like let's say some character shoots a high projectile against you right so like right does this on reaction you do this and this is actually like completely safe goes under projectile and you build up a bit of hype so that's already one use of hype and it's not even like uh you have to use like that you can just do a neutral because it doesn't really have a lot of recovery but don't do too much because it does have recovery if your opponent is looking for it but with cameos like Lao hat you're able to do this right once you're waiting for the Lao hat you can build up hype like that um, he also has this, this is the same case, it builds up more hype than this, so, uh, you know, you do this, you build up hype, like, whenever you can. Same thing goes for this move, uh, so these are all just hype building moves, right? So, normally I always have hype around, and, like, if I get around on someone, I always try to end, uh, the round with this, right? Um, because if you hit the round, if you hit them with Shadow Kick, or what will happen is you end with hype and you build your base, your whole hype bar, so... During the round, you're going to be doing combos, right? I mean, with no punch, right in store. So most of the time, when you end with, like, uh, high, you know, shadow kick for the round, you just do this, and then bam, bam, shadow kick, you will build up your whole hype bar. Now, what is hype, if you don't know? Um, hype allows him to link special after special. So you can do two, two nut punches, three nut punches, and he has combo routes. And whenever he activates hype, he gets a uh, free arm and shadow kick, and his nut punches are invincible. So you get this. So anytime, any, anytime you activate hype, the opponent has to just be scared. So you activate, and then you can just really do shadow kick. This is armored. This is invincible. So when he activates hype, he is literally like it's an extra factor. Like it's kind of crazy. And the combo route he gets, like he gets so much damage off like you know simple combo routes. Like this is a simple combo route, right? see that like that wasn't even optimal so hype is very essential to his kit whenever you can build it for free try to build it um and yeah just make sure to always try to build hype whenever you're able to and i just want to cover this little section 
And yeah, I hope uh, I was able to cover it.
All right, well, that's going to be it for the Johnny Cage guide. I hope I was able to, you know, uh, break down the character more and give you guys kind of an update from the first guide. A lot, a lot of things I covered in the first guide are going to be covered here as well. And that's basically because, um, you know, he still is the same character in a way. He just has a lot of new routes because of these cameos. And I'll be honest, you may be asking yourself, uh, would Lao Cameo doesn't get the highest damage? He doesn't, but Lao Cameo is there just to help him in neutral and honestly just help him keep pressure and I will say Lao Cameo is his best cameo for sure but I honestly as a player I don't find Lao Cameo as fun as these other cameos I feel like Striker, Sonya, and Kano uh, all allow you to you know go crazy with his combo routes just like I just showed uh, with Lao he's more I'd say Lao is like more of the competitive cameo for Johnny it's the best cameo paired with him it's what makes him like very very good but I truthfully don't enjoy Lao Cameo with Johnny. Um, obviously, you know, that's just how it is. I don't enjoy it. I kind of just think Lao Cameo in general, as you guys know, the meta right now is kind of dry with Lao Cameo. I do think Lao Cameo should be nerfed in a way while buffing all the other cameos. But that's a separate topic, obviously. But, um, you know, I did want to show you guys the other combo routes with Kano, Sonya, and Striker to show you that this character can hit hard <laughs> whenever he his hype up with a character that lets him uh, extend a punch um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the guy thank you guys for all the love on youtube we recently reached 10k again thank you guys for all the love on the twitch um i'd be streaming pretty much every day every other day on twitch so if you want to stop by those streams um i'd see you there and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want more guides as always let me know and uh once again thank you for watching i'll see y'all soon y'all have a great day and stay safe peace out y'all